<coughs> Hello everyone, welcome to the next volume. Uh, volume 6, Fruit 1, begin the friendship process. Uh, first thing first, holy fucking shit, what a... What a... What a convoluted story, I guess. And here we are, back to the mix. Trying to be a slutty friend. Ah, my god. That's so much shit. <clears throat> It's clear, cold night, as you're wandering around, trying to decide whose hive you should crash at before the sun comes out. It's nice having so many options for place to stay. You've cultivated a decent community for yourself. There's an amber of pride in your belly about it. Still, you find yourself feeling a little aimless and... Uh, aimless, and the last couple friends you made were pretty intense. That <coughs> that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm vibing at chiller frequency right now. There's still a while until I get it gets dangerous to light out, so you sort of boom around, seeing what feels right. <coughs> it's kind of fun to test out the boundaries of your powers. Use to it to find friends, but really not sure how far it goes. You think three, and <coughs> you don't know how magic brain decide which one to choose. But fuck if you aren't sitting on an extremely high branch or a second later. You try it again and again with whatever concept comes to mind. Well, what the hell are we? You try again with whatever concept comes to mind. Garden. You try cave. I feel like these is references. Uh, mole. It works. You don't, uh, you don't remember ever having been to any of those specific places, you feel a strange prickly affinity for them each time your feet touch the ground. It's all pretty generic locational nouns, though you wonder if it works for things that are most abstract. Quickly, uh, before you can talk yourself out of the naivety of it, you think home. It still takes you a minute to open your eyes, even after you feel around guts all back, your guts all back into the right place, because what if you woke up in a room that feels like yours? Or worse, uh, infinitely more likely, what if you don't? You're breathing deep and immediately cough preciously. You open your watery eyes clinging to hope that maybe you come from a land of dusty comforts, we are always just breathing layers and dust, uh, and it's fine. Oh, what a weird place. <clears throat> It's not fine, actually. You land inside of one of the spindleized, most precarious hunks of metal that has ever been bolted into the side of a cliff. It looks like summation outposts, not a homie at all. Of course, that wouldn't work. It was stupid to try. Defeat is bitter. Is bitten your mouth. To that twisty part of you that wants to curl up on a particular piece of floor and take a nap. You can't work out how much of that urge is just you wanting to give in. So, just in case you don't surrender to it. Maybe you'll come back another time and sift through all that shit on the shelves. But for now, you are not sure how uh, structurally sound this thing is, and you can't take any more disappointment. Hmm. Uh, so, you try one more time, pop up somewhere you haven't been before. What was that one guy name was Gamesy mentioned? Oh yeah, Equicus. Oh yeah, Equicus. Maybe he's chill. You think his name and tap away. Imagine yourself leaving an edgy, despondent swirl of dust in your wake. Uh, wait, he's going to punch us? Are those horses? Oh no. You're a brony. <laughs> You're a brony. <laughs> it's a brony, right? That's what it is. Look at that. <clears throat> Your magical zapped calibration maybe isn't off as you talk, because you pop pop in a, on Equinus as close as is possible to get to the dude without landing directly on top of him. The astounding sheer unchillness of the situation is immediately, imm imm imminently apparent. His mid jaw, mid yell, mid sweat, and mid swing are on outlandishly beefy arm down toward you. You freeze frame like an anime protagonist and analyzes the choices mid battle, and you're drawn out split second of an obs <laughs> observational window. You realize he is not aiming at you, but in the direction of whatever noisy, wearing thing you happen to plop down in front. Uh, oh fuck. 
As soon as he sees you, his eyebrows shot above about his busted ass sunglasses, his ass strangles itself into panic. His arm shudders and thought he's tried uh, and fa falling to alter his glorious face word a trajectory. You really do not want to get your face punched off your head, so you scream and zap just outside the high arch door on the far end of the room. <laughs> uh, I love the, the attention of detail of this one. I like the table has like a horse, uh, <laughs> horse leg. He's really obsessed with that. Um, uh, you hear a deep, meaty punk, followed by a groan, and then a sharp metallic crunch into where he stops. Oh my god, is he dead? Is the other thing dead? Should you go check on him? You skitter away from the door and then back to it, and show what to do. What's that? No. It can't have been. Hello? Show yourself the assistant. Wait, what, what was his nickname? I, I, I missed that. Oh fuck, he does not sound happy. His words are little goblet too. Like some thief just got knocked out by whoever ass he was just kicking. You were your option. Chicken out. Be brave. Chicken out. <laughs> Be brave. Uh, oh no, oh man, you know the game's uh, Z seals of approval is maybe not the most credible, but this guy might be an okay dude. It will be definitely be you. <laughs> He's a brownie, man! Uh, is that what you call it? I forgot. Uh, it will be definitely be your fault if it was hurt, uh, if he's hurt, uh, was he hurting? Should we at least check on him, a sprint or something? You can zap away if it comes down to it. You do a polite thing this time and knock. He opens the door fast like he was just on the other side of it. You both jumps. He collects himself and glares at you, arm crossed against his having chest. Revolutes of blood and sweat run together and pulling the tie-pot above his weird alien clavicle. A low menacing sound rambles through him. You can feel it in your teeth. Holy shit, he's terrifying. Explain yourself immediately. Oh, you're the guy that sent our testicle. <laughs> of course he sent our testicle. Uh, let me, let me, let, out of curiosity, out of curiosity. Equus, of course. <clears throat> I think you might shit your pants on the spot, but he gives you a quick up and down and rearrange his expression to a sort of false smile. He doesn't really feel any more welcoming, <laughs> what with the blood dripping down his chin, but the fact that he's trying is maybe a good sign. You hold your fear shit just in case, or perhaps come in and take a seat. He steps aside to beckon you through the door, then sort of freezes. Unless you should be the one instructing me, in which case it would behove you to make that promptly apparent. I cannot work out how exactly to address you when you don't wear a case symbol and you 100k like? Wait, what do you mean by that? That which I am either very sorry for or quite a percentage about depending on where the truth lies. Either way, I'm beginning to perspire about it. So out with it right now. Man, he's really struggling. The anger you felt radiating off him before is still there, but that doesn't seem to be all of what is driving him. It's like, there are two competing forces inside him. One that wants to yell at you, and the one that wants to get yelled at by you. So, hostility? Regular ass hostility? <coughs> You might conceptualize these forces as fierce animals wearing a glorious, unwavering balance. Horses, perhaps. Anyway, you will shop that metaphor later. You tell him, you know, you look tight weird, but you promise you are cool, you know, a friend of his. At the mention of games, game Z, the corner of his lip curls up into something complicated. So you change course real fast just in case. And car cut. Does he know car cut? What a guy. Yeah, it's. He eyes you warily, or you think he probably does. With his eyes hide hidden behind his shades, you can't be sure, but he's been very still. Sweat and blood are still just fucking running down his face, and he's not even acknowledging it. You laugh nervously. <coughs> <coughs> you both continue to stand there, waiting for the other to make a move. It will be super helpful if someone was assertive around here. Luckily, some kind of calf center man, his lusses, you assume breaks the awkward doorway stalemate by silently trotting up and handing a 
obsequious, a desperately needed towel. He then offers you both some frosty glasses of milk. Something deep inside you feels as well of warm recognition for the ritualistic moment, but friends, parent break it up, you snacks, so you down that thick shit in one go. <laughs> uh, uh. The losses mustache fluster in appreciation, and after a nod between him and Equinus, he leaves as quietly as he came. I see you aficionado of the sweetest. <laughs> Tell me that was milk. Tell me that was fucking milk. Tell me it was fucking milk. I see you aficionado of this beetle's nectar. This spare percentage sped it sped to the likelihood of your nobility, which is reassuring. You may be able to overlook the circumstance of your meeting then, if you can provide strong evidence, of course. Tell me, are you also a hoof beast art enthusiast? What the fuck is a hoof beast? Art enthusiast. I don't fucking know that. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> he bakes you inside the room as you follow. You tell me you're not really sure what that means, but probably you are a fan of a lot of. Uh... Oh. <laughs> a lot of. Oh. <laughs> a lot of. Oh. Haha, <laughs> wow, okay, that's what that means. Cool, yeah, you know, whatever. You feel like you learned once that anything can be art if it feels right, so art uh, can be definitely beat the, uh, well, muscle horse man on the walls of this, <laughs> this here living space. Look, look, let's look at the room. Nice chair, by the way. It's very, very cool chair. <laughs> it looks very cool chair. I was like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Ekus rumbles in agreement and gestures towards the chair. It's one of those cool red black gamer one. Team chair with embedded speakers. There's a lot of that kind of decor decorating motif in here, which is a little at odds with the high ceilings and engraved doorways and general blue blood old money architecture. Oh yeah, <laughs> there are broken bows and robot robot robots uh, parts all over the goddamn fucking place in a neat little stack or connected to other robots parts to create whole robots just the absolute wasteland of obliterated robot corpus like they all were torn limb from limb and then just scooted off towards the wall a fair few of them are spa spattered in blood too dry it looks almost black but the fresh stuff on the fist of the one in pieces at work your feet is bright indigo indigo uh, on the one hand, it's absolutely a relief to see that it's all metal and not flesh body parts scattering the floor, but also it's still, you know, not f <laughs> not, not fucked up looking. I mean, well, I mean, we downgraded a bit. They're like, oh, children being fed by uh, our own impotent uh, uh, arachno, arachno queen. There's like robots being smashed. I'll downgrade a little bit. I mean, the least, like, the least impression of it is like, oh, he's a brony. <laughs> it's like, it's like, <laughs> oh, he beat up uh, robots as a training, uh, training dolls, I don't know. Because mine probably was, has, uh, has too many teeth in it to seem normal, but Equus return is kind of leans. What he probably thinks is, cas uh, is casually, against the edge of his decks. He creaks under his weight, Jesus, he could just end up in, uh, end you in a half second, couldn't he? You claim we have mutual, mutual. Mutual acquaintances. So demonstrated. He nods towards the screen of his desk, where he has Trollian. <laughs> he has Trollian open. Uh, my favorite website, you know. Uh, oh fuck! You guys, you can just click uh, on someone uh, and ask them to prove it. What? He seemed to know both Karkat and Gamsi. And we think that too, you know who's most likely to be online and ready to pester and be pestered at all time. So you click his screen name and start typing. Central Tesco began trolling Casinogenics. <laughs> hey Karkat, I hope you are having a good day. I just had a quick favor to ask. Uh, wait, what? I also, <laughs> oh, I also miss you. What the fuck? What happened to you? 
Where's your hurry? I'm fine, quick. I'm just supposed to settle up for some truly nasty anti conversation if I don't have a not veiled at all booch reference greeting me at the beginning of every one of your excruciating message. Are you sick? Like in a new way? Alright, Jesus, you're logging on, Aquinas. Uh, your, <laughs> your fool ass just started typing like you had your own account for some reason. You blame it on the nerves and get to the clarifying. Oh, ha, sorry, this is your new friend. I've read off you off yesterday. I wandered around for a while and I'm hanging out with Aquinas. CT, I'm using his computer. Oh. My pusher almost fucking gave up on the spot. I don't think he trusts me. Can you vouch for me? Hold on. Let me let me just back in the cost of the two of you hanging out. This is a mental masterpiece. A tableau of awkward fucking splendor. I legitimately do not even know what sort of short secret must be happening in his brain to try and make sense of you. Please don't tell me a single fucking thing about it later. Okay, we have done that now. Is he watching? If you don't... If you don't lean over your shoulder and tuck his hair behind his ear so it doesn't get in the way of his typing. It's a bow and arrow and resembles otherwise only a pleasant coincidence. And yes, I am watching. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Listen. Listen up, you milk log chum squelcher. There's a little guy right there. The one you are probably dripping sweat all over. That's one of the realest friends you will ever hope to make. Show will send your life caring horrendously, of course, but it will absolutely be worth it for the level of dedication they bring to the table. Yes! <laughs> yes! Time traveling and shit! Don't even bother with the blood color horseshit with this one, since they are the only one of their species. Just roll with it for once, your wretched life. Don't fuck this one up, Zack. They are an abomination, they wouldn't know what a boundary was if it took up residence in their trees. But you know to have those things in common, so in this case, that's a good thing. <coughs> what do you mean by that? Equinus inhales sharply and you wonder what Kalkan meant by that. <laughs> About Equinus, you mean, uh, sure, you are an inexpect... Uh, inex inexplicably? Bibbly being neither earthly nor alternian but with weird itchy memories about having lived on a boat planets but it doesn't seem out of the normal range of fucked up considering troll standards in fact how about this that is sufficient goodbye <laughs> he minimized the window step back somehow sweater than he was before he taps the towel gingerly on his forehead so we have now been properly introduced okay then you definitely uh, thought he was going to be more than that he does seem a little shaken up so maybe he should sorry maybe you should just be thankful the conversation got cut short before he could really dig too deep into your law and get judgmental about it i i do not know the standard method of communication with your species neither you will take the lead here and we'll, oh sorry <laughs> we'll take the well whatever yeah i'm gonna read as usual you'll take the lead here and it will surely become clear how you should proceed yes that sounds extremely feasible I'm, I'm gonna give it a deeper voice, you know. You will now begin a friendship process. I command it. Sure, you got this. <laughs> oh, sure, you got this. Uh, how exactly you got this? Show off your cool powers. Uh, so we are both freaks. <laughs> <laughs> We're both. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna show him the powers. I'm gonna direct approach. <laughs> Also, we're both fucking weird, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, sure. Great, you can't do that. Making friendship happen is like the one skill you actually have. From what you recall, you have a 100% success rate at it, too. So I think budding rapport is safe for in your hands. Ah, oh, well, excellent. Oh, Jesus Christ, don't break your glasses like that. They're being extremely dangerous to your eyes. Phew, you, you really want to show he being down for this. It really seemed like he might be coming to kill you when you heard him stopping toward the door earlier. Kill you? I will never. He cuts himself off. What do you? What? He cut himself off as though he didn't intend to admit he didn't have it in him to murder you and clear his throat. Uh, at first, I thought you might be a, a Arthur, my losses. It's ridiculous. A, a fucking bag? Hundred king bag? Though you uh, thought you do share a sort of globular punted resemblance. How do you come to entangle yourself in a brawl only to immediately escape? Are you abnormally fast? I admit a particular method of being strong had not occurred to me, but I'm intrigued. I too like to test the limits of physical capacity. 
Uh, oh no, you can just zap places. It's a kind of a strain, maybe. Um, you want to define superpowers that way. You show off a bit since you know Equinus like demonstration. You tell him about how all you have to do is think of a place or person you want to visit and pop. You hop to the top of a pile of rubber parts and then back in front of him. On the floor. It's like that except anywhere. I see. This is exceptional. He sort of just starts quaking gently where he stands, you rub his neck with his towel, but he's not really even sweating anymore than he had been already. That he had been already. He's though it is excitement he forgot to sweat and just dabbed by force of habit. Is that a thing? Hmm. Why are you even noticing this shit? It is possible to bring along a a pillion rider? What? What? A pillion rider? What? Like a zap buddy with you? In answer you extend an elbow for him to grasp. His whole body is vibrating by this point, he reaches his hand out to stop just before he touches you, like you might shock him. It's okay, I won't hurt, you say. He fingers twitch just above your elbow and his mouth per pursues in distrust. You are not sure exactly what he's worried about, since you're extremely undangerous. <laughs> you let him have a moment to work through whatever he's nervous about. He, take a st he takes a steady breath. It's a little unsettling to see his face relax, even briefly, into soft, calm lines. Three palm up, his hand slowly cradles your forearm from below. He nods a sharp, determined movement and starts telling you what to do again. You will take me with you. Her name is Nepeta. Nepeta? Who, who is Nepeta? Do, do you require any other information, or will that be sufficient? Then I'll do it. You haven't heard of her, you won't... Uh, you don't think, but you feel an immediate surge of excitement about this little jaunt. It's probably mostly just the friendship thirst talking. You can't help but feel like this is a connection. It's supposed to be made, like it's something that matters. It's up away. Uh, the, sorry. Uh, the pleasant little cosmic skip in an analyzed feeling when you zap around Jolter, like you got yanked off the ride, bit of his shook to your guts, and I'm back exactly where you started. That did not work. Do you mislead me? No, this should work. You're not even high this time. As impressive as the strength of your power is, perhaps you need to apply more attention to the more intricate details involved. She's a... She's a olive blood, very short and shamefully unkept. A strong feel is a pony. And also, it doesn't exist. This information will help. Yup, so he started to look pretty intense, even with the phone li lilt, his voice as he talks about his messy friend. You give it another will, and then you feel it, that same weighty glare of the back on your neck, telling you, you, you don't belong. Fuck, you got zap blocked again. You. Will. Try. Again. Each word is ground out one of the time, between the clenched teeth. Broad trinkles through the cracks in his bite, and out the corner of his lips, you really don't think it's going to work. But Ikius looks like he's a second. He's a second away from losing his shit so reluctantly. You comply. Quit fucking trying to skip ahead. It's not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work. As you hurl it through space time towards Aqueous Floor, you start wondering if this is just gonna be what happens now when you try to uh, when you try and make friends, you accept this truth into your heart as you face accepting bending wood planks. Hexio land on his feet a little ways away from you, his hands pulled into into fists belowing his imp imponent, impotent rage. He's not even saying words, just unleash an agonized guttural wail. He punches an already dead robot to also leaning against a bookshelf. In punctuation, he kicks, it, uh, <coughs> he kicks its decapitated head, which explodes in a shower of bolts and spark. And thus clears, you see him dutifully whipping himself down with a tower, breathing hard. Oh, wow. Um, is that a pony? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's, he's an actual character. I don't know. He seemed to have worked his anger out because the walk, um, because walks with purposeful grace, as though he learned it in cultivation, uh, and sits next to where you're still sort of laying off the floor. They're both silent for a bit, he grew stuck at the look of his hair, anxiously, anxiously wrapping it round his finger, his hands fall off his lap. I oblige for that display, disappoint by motion, is not my favourite. I feel better now, however. My morale lives very, very far away, so our paths have never been able to 
meat, I guess? Whatever force is blocking us seems to wield significant narrative power, so we respect its whims and both minds instead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like, I'm not even sure if it's the fourth wall at this point, it's like fifth wall. Like, um, okay. For now. Ah, you know it happens. You are not stranger to the ups and downs of friendship. The trick is to know when to keep trying and when to fall back, no matter how futile you feel or how alone you are. Yeah, you're more, uh, so I'm guessing is an actual person. Well, I see, whatever the thing it is. Your morale is impressive considering your circumstances. Your morale. There's probably most, mostly a compliment. You're, you're not really sure. The circumstances definitely feel like they could be worst. I feel like he killed us. <clears throat> you are very sure of yourself. How do you manage this when you are the only one of your kind? Without society to tell you how to act or feel, how do you know if you are living the correct way? How do you know where you belong? Or if you belong? Fucking ouch! The desire to belong is yawning wound in your guts. One of them never seems to heal. You try not to let this rip too many stitches out of it. You never feel totally secure, you say. There's always fear, always doubt, always pain, but you find people in unlikely places. Make your community went to where you can. Shit, you have a belongings at? What, like eight people's houses by now? It's not the same as having your own spot, but that definitely is something. You started off on the defensive, but you realize it's true. So you, you, so really you figure you are still defining yourself by your relationship to other people, but that can become from a good place and not just twisted and false one. You get, a, you get wanting to know you are doing something right, unlocking your own mentality device, so I don't achieve for that sweet dopamine rush. But leaning on a fucked up social system for direction and validation doesn't really help him, and it definitely isn't helping many others. You don't need that to figure out yourself. He's brought for and you can almost hear a couple of four, six, seven, two rigid barriers in his brain creak, creaking open. It's not just other people you think, you find strength, oh sorry, strength, is that right? Uh, in your own self, too. You met a lot of people and learned a lot of ways to be, but you're still working on what that means for you. No, it's not right, but I appreciate that attempt. This type of understanding does not come easy to me, but believe I'm following. In my case, I have streaming to look at and retook the edge of my own ability. Physical prowess is relatively typical indigo trait, but I'm normally strong. I have worked to hone it in attempt to make sense of myself and why I'm like this. Raining in a barren trait and defining myself by it. Why give him like a ba Batman voice? I don't know. He just uh, he gestured the god of all robot mess, then flexes his hand. The blood has coagulated since you started talking. He stares at it. Wow, that was quick. Mm, quick. Um, hell. <laughs> Uh, that was a quick recovery. <laughs> Very quick. This way of thinking may not always be the good thing, however. Such habits are difficult to break. Though there are hundred loopholes in every rule, I often l lose track on which regulation I actually enjoy following, and which I just do not know how to disregard. At least with this hobby, hobby, all the stakes are under my control, with no chance of others getting hurt. Now it's the half hours of up in between you, uh, your fight and looking for friendship, that is. Well, that's your fault, I guess. Uh, his smile is a broken and rigid, and it was the first time, but it feels different, backed, backed by the rough warmth of his laugh. Yes, do not do that again. Next time you will zap to the front of the door, and our door will let you in. Next time you think, and you smile back. Yeah. Ah, that is so. Ah, there is such a chill things now. I'm like, ah, what a lovely thing. I mean, oh, great, not dying. No. Not die is so nice. <laughs> Not dying for friendship is so nice. <laughs> Excellent victory, guys. See, we didn't die. We didn't got mauled to death. We didn't got stabbed. See, chill. Wow, oh, Jesus Christ. After all that fucking shit of like, oh, Jesus Christ, what's gonna happen now? It's gonna punch my face off. It's gonna take my head is gonna throw my lungs out of my body i don't know what else it's gonna punch my heart out anyway uh lovely lovely victory and uh we see <laughs> gonna end the episode right now right here jesus bloody crisis um wow the, the last one was hell, hell, one hell of a hell of a hell of a hell of a volume okay and uh as usual 
have a lovely day. Hope you subscribe and I hope you see you again very, very soon. A lovely bye.